trying not to break Murano. So, Ken. <laughs> case full of Murano. <laughs> you do love your Murano, don't you? Uh, well, funnily enough, my late wife made me love Murano. Right. Because she started collecting Murano oh, I see. 15, 20 years ago. Right. Um, and it was incredibly popular. Yeah. Uh, we went to Murano on several occasions as well. Yeah. Um, and then over the years, it, the collection that she was putting together just had to be commercialised. Right. Because I said you'll never, ever stop collecting. No. This because they made so much of it. No, of course. So when you uh, say commercialised, you mean sold. Yes. You've got to start You've selling that collection. you with it. Right. So, and, you, and you actually have it everywhere, don't you? So there's one they, cover there. We had, we actually got into a Swiss collection. Believe it or not, the entire house right. had 10,000 pieces of Murano glass in the house. Right. Every cupboard, every drawer was full of Murano. They were proper Murano. We bought, oh. we bought over a thousand pieces from them <laughs> over the years and sold them. You can see these right. again are remnants of... So that these are, although stashed in this pretty magnificent cabinet, they are all for sale. Everything's for sale. Right, okay. As I said to you three hours ago, the only thing that's not for sale is things in the office. Things in the office, yeah. I've probably okay. got 500 pieces. Wowza, wowza. Um, so. And, you know, it's not something I'll be buying in the future for... Well, I don't think you'll ever need to buy it again because you've got so much to sell. Why would you sell it? Just keep selling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I did uh, spot this collection earlier on as we walked through. That is quite magnificent. And let me just feast your eyes, viewer, here. Well, you're looking at... Because look at that. Ken, in the light. Half, I mean, a, half a dozen decanters. Yeah. A couple of small jugs and a water jug. Dating uh, from... I would think late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, how many pieces? Six, there's nine, nine lots here. Nine pieces. Nine pieces. I, are you selling them individually? I'll sell the collection. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Now then, how much is that worth? I'm just trying to... Uh, well... That collection will be 850 pounds. Oh, well, that's so, not much. I was, I, I was thinking it was going to be a lot more because you'd think that would be a couple of hundred quid. A couple of hundred quid. Yes. So eight eight fifty for the lot. Yes. It's not bad. It's, it's no, good, isn't it? It's very good. Have, it's great value. It's also, don't forget, because of where directions I'm going in, Yeah. it won't be something that I will be repurchasing. Sure. I'm looking at different avenues. Yes, yes. So I'm making well, it... I'm going to I'm fall over. <laughs> Leave my swivel alone. <laughs> I didn't realise it was going to swivel. <laughs> That's what saved you from falling over. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We, as I say, I've got hundreds of pieces. Wow. And uh, it make, they make great presents and pleasure. They do. I yeah. love that collection, 850. I think that's absolutely fantastic. I thought you were going to see you buy it. <laughs>